Humanitarian situation in Tigray remains bleak after 10 days into signing of the peace deal between the two parties. Our sources in Shira have dismissed Redwan Hussein's comment that services are being reconnected. They say nothing is restored yet and no flights are allowed. Many disappointed by a tweet from lead negotiator of the Ethiopian team and security advisor to the prime minister, which stated that aids were flowing into Tigray and flights were allowed to Shira. Members of Tigray Central Command, Geta Chorada, also denied the claim in his conversation with AFP. He said, Redwan is plucking his own fact from thin air. AFP said humanitarian worker has also dismissed the comment, saying no aid has been allowed to enter Shira at all. On Wednesday, Director General for the WHO, Dr. Tedros Adhanom, said patients are dying from treatable diseases in Tigray and that desperately needed aid has not been allowed in the Tigray. Uh, what we believe is, even in the middle of a uh, fighting, Civilians need food, need medicine. It cannot be a condition, especially after the ceasefire agreement. I was expecting that food and medicine would just flow immediately. That's not happening. We would also urge, um, urge the immediate, um, you know, delivery of food and medicine and also, of course, the reopening of um, the basic services like banking, telecom, um, and other, the power transfer. And to be honest, allowing journalists like you also to, to go to Tigray because everything that has happened in the last two years has been done in, in total darkness and uh, six million people have been completely separated, shut off from the rest of the world. U.S. State Department Bureau of African Affairs expressed that humanitarian situation in Tigray, Afar and Amhara regions gives no time while calling on the government of Ethiopia for urgent actions to respect and implement the signed agreement.